In Redlock, the dashboard can be used to provide a summary view of your public cloud environments. After initial onboarding of your public cloud accounts, Redlock will begin ingesting data from those accounts. The Asset Inventory Dashboard provides up-to-date information of all cloud assets that you are monitoring using the Redlock application. Under the Assets Inventory tab will be a list of all the assets that Redlock has discovered. There are filters on the left side panel that allow you to organize the data. You may also save a filter or clear all filters. In addition, you can select from a pre-configured time range. You can filter by cloud accounts, cloud region. You can use the check boxes for cloud types, AWS, Azure, GCP or combinations, or select all. And you can select by cloud service. Moving over to the right, there are three panels at the top of the page. The Resources panel displays the current active total number of resources. The Pass panel displays resources without any open alerts. The Fail panel displays the total number of resources that have generated at least one open alert. The Pass and Fail panels include trend lines. An upward trend line for past resources and a downward trend line for failed resources indicates good health of the resources. Scrolling down, we can see that resources are organized by categories. Additional information is provided in the columns. Service name, cloud provider, total number of resources within that category, and how many resources are passing or failing currently. The values in the total, pass, and fail column are links that I can click on to do a deeper dive. Redlock will actually navigate me to another tab, the Investigate tab, where all the resources within that category are now listed. And I can go a little further and click on one of those resources to obtain yet more information about the state of that resource. We will focus on the Investigate tab in a later lesson in the course. Okay, let's go ahead and click on the SecOps tab. You will see a collection of graphs depicting the security and compliance posture of your clouds. One of the most useful of these SecOps charts is, for example, top policy violations. So this basically gives us a, a thumbnail view of current top policy violations for all of my cloud environments. I also have tooltip help to see what the category of violations is in this case. The SecOps page can be customized by clicking on the Customize button. I can basically change the sizing of any chart. I can rearrange the ordering of the charts. And I can customize these views to suit my purposes. I also have the option to save a picture uh, as a representation of any one of these charts for reporting purposes by clicking on the hamburger menu. There's support for the PNG format or the PDF format. If I click on PNG here, I'll have a prompt to save the file and that'll download to my local machine.